Well, it's day two of the Rocky Mountain Toyota Roundup, and we're heading off to Imogene Pass. Me too. <laughs> history on IMG Pass. This is the highest mountain pass in the San Juan Mountains and the second highest mountain pass in all of Colorado. The pass was created around 1880 and had the first ever long distance power lines that delivered electricity to mining operations of all of the Telluride area. As we left the gravel road and headed out onto the trail, the number of water crossings was amazing and really made for a fun morning. Out of all the trail rides at the Rocky Mountain Toyota Roundup, Imogene Pass was the one I was looking forward to the most. I've heard such great things about it from its scenery to the trail, and it was a must for me to tackle this year. One great thing about this being a guided trip is all the group leaders knew the best places for us to stop, get out, stretch our legs, take in some scenery, and it was just also a great time for us to all get to know each other a little bit better. Next stop was the Upper Camp Herd Mine. It's a famous and highly productive old gold mine on the Uri side of the Imogene Pass. I thought this would be a great time to get out the drone and take a look at the surrounding mountains as well as the trail to come. From down below you can see the popular Poser Rock as well as the upper portion of the pass that weeks ago was covered with snow.
As we continued up the pass, we stopped at Poser Rock, where we each took a turn, crawling out onto the point for a great photo opportunity. We are now looking down at Campbird Mine. It's amazing to think how far we've climbed in such a short period of time. After we all took turns on Poser Rock, it was time to hop back in our rigs and make our final ascent to the top. Here you can see just how steep the trail gets as you're nearing the top of the pass. In fact, one of the members in our group had some trouble and slid backwards off the trail. Our group leader had to work their way back down and offered assistance and helped winch them out. After everyone was back on the trail, we worked our way to the top of Imogene Pass at 13,114 feet. As we started down the other side of Imogene Pass, the landscape quickly made dramatic changes and we once again found ourselves dropping below the tree line on our way to Telluride, Colorado.
Completed Imogene passed around one o'clock in the afternoon and rolled in to tell your ride looking for a place for lunch. Steamy's Burger Bar was located in the historic downtown, had a great little patio and was also dog friendly. What an amazing trail that was. That was a great day. We had a lot of fun. Uh, we're gonna call it a day, head back to camp, get organized for tomorrow and just get some rest. About two months before tickets went on sale for the Rocky Mountain Toyota Roundup, I reserved our campsites at the Amphitheater Campground just outside of Ure. This is a very traditional campground with all the expected amenities. They did warn us of the bear activity in the area, but the only wildlife we happened to see were some very friendly deer. We had a great, quiet, and relaxing campsite, which made it very easy to kick back and relax at the end of a long day.